Hello, hello. Hello. Hello, teacher. Welcome, welcome. Good evening, teacher. Good evening. How are you? Hi, thank you. And you? I'm fine, thank you. Is it raining in your house? Poquito. No, yes. In, in your house, no, Graciela, but Sarita, yes. In your house, yes. No. Okay. Hello, Xiomara. Hello, Iris. Gabriela, Suleima. Welcome. Okay, you're very comfortable, Iris. <laughs> nice. I like it. No, continue. Come on, don't worry. Continue. <laughs> no problem, right? That's nice. I like it. Okay. Good. Were you working in the platform? ¿Estuvieron trabajando yes. en la plataforma? Yes. Okay. Yes. Nice. Okay, I like it. Uh, uh, I moved my, my computer to a, a place that is next to the router. Moví ahora mi computadora a un lugar cerca del router para que la señal no me pierda, you know? <laughs> yes, porque, okay. you know, yesterday, oof, any problem, right? <laughs> Yes, okay, Sarita, pero usted le bien, yes, no problem. Hello, hello. No, no problem. No problem. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to this class. <laughs> <laughs> okay, <laughs> so no problem with the sound. Excellent. So, if you want, let's start right now, right? And we're going to start with the review with the platform. Okay. So, uh, we're going to review the, the video. Okay, pay attention, please. For the first section, fat, oil, sugar. Mm. I like Give me a second. cream. Give me a second you'll learn vocabulary related to the food pyramid. You'll also learn how to express the foods that you like and dislike. Let's get started by listening and practicing the vocabulary on this food pyramid. Food pyramid. For good health, eat a lot of grains, vegetables, and fruit. Eat some dairy, meat, and other protein. Eat very little fat, oil, and sugar. Listen and practice. Fat, oil, sugar. Cream, butter, candy, oil, potato chips. Meat and other protein. Fish, beans, nuts, chicken, eggs, beef, dairy, milk, yogurt, cheese, fruit, bananas, apples, oranges, strawberries, mangoes, vegetables, broccoli, Carrots, lettuce, tomatoes, potatoes, grains, bread, cereal, crackers, rice, noodles, pasta. Now, I would like for you to practice the vocabulary that we just learned. To do this, we're going to express the food that we like and don't like. We will practice each section of the food pyramid. Let me give a couple of examples. For the first section, fat, oil, sugar, I like cream, butter, and oil. I don't like candy, and potato chips. The okay, good. So, uh, 
Let me see the commentaries for today. What are the commentaries? The homework, right? It says, uh, I like cream and potato chips. And what is missing here? Beatriz Galdames, what is missing here? ¿Qué es lo que nos hace falta aquí entre chips y hay? What do you think, Beatriz? Mm. ¿Qué es lo que nos, nos hace falta ahí? Cuando escribimos un mensaje en WhatsApp, también se nos olvida esto, ¿verdad? Algo chiquitito, pequeñito. ¿Una coma? Punto. A, a period, ¿Punto? yes, a period, right? I like ice cream, potato chip. Period, right? I don't like oil, butter, and candy. Again, look. Right? The period. My sister likes beans, chicken, and eggs. Coma. Huh? And no capital letter, right? Aquí va minúscula. Lowercase letter. But she doesn't like fish and nuts. Okay. Very good. Good example, right? But uh, only the commas and the periods. Another one. I like cream, candy, and potato chips. Ah, look. Period, right? I don't like butter and oil. Period. I like fish, chicken, beef, and eggs. I don't like nuts and yogurt. Mm -hmm. And we have a uh, floor here, right? I like cream, coma, that's okay, candy and potato chips. I don't like butter and oil. Mm -hmm. My sister like, mm -hmm, Flor. No se ha conectado Flor todavía, Flor? Hello, Flor? No. Okay, so... Um, Delmi Carranza, please. Delmi. Uh, what is missing here? Let me see uh, here. My sister like or my sister likes? Delmi. Like. Like or likes? Like. Okay. With an S, right? Remember, third person singular. My sister, my brother, my father, my friend, Pedro, Juan, Maria, Firulais, Misifus. So then the verb, add, we add an S, sorry, we add an S to the verb, right? Likes, okay? But she doesn't like eggs. Okay, excellent. Only this little mistake for Flor. That's nice, right? And we have a lot of commentaries today. Nice. Many commentaries. Gabriela Mejia. Uh, let me see. Gabriel, no, we have a Gabriel Hernandez, right? Mm -hmm. uh, Gloria Escalante, yes, yeah, right? I like bread, but I don't like coffee. Coffee, I suppose, right? Uh, Gloria? Gloria? Hello, teacher. Yes. Uh, I suppose this is coffee, right? Yes, coffee. yes. Yes, coffee, right? F E E. F F E E, right? <laughs> Coffee. Corrector, el yeah, corrector. Is, yeah, oh, yeah, sorry, yeah, I understand, right? <laughs> this is lowercase, minuscula, Gloria, here, right? I like bread, yes. but I don't like coffee. Okay, nice, sorry, but you cannot dip the semita in the coffee, Gloria. <laughs> no I don't gusta, like coffee. No, no le gusta meter la semita en el café, right? Okay, I understand. Eh, let me see, ne, José Lobo, José no se ha conectado todavía, José, hello José Lobo, no, ok, I like candy, cream, mm, there is a mistake here, eh, Roberto please, can you help me, what is the mistake? Eh, falta la S creo, mm, cream, cream. no, eh, Suleima please, eh, Suleima. la M, the M, oh, right? Perfecto. No, that's okay. That's okay. The end, right? Cream. Hola. Uh, hello, <laughs> Suleima. No, I was asking Suleima <laughs> that if, if it is M or N, Suleima. Can you see? ¿Puede alcanzar a ver, Suleima? Yes? Um, Lo vamos a agrandar, okay? Give me a second. Es vamos a hacerlo más um, grande. M, right? Here, Verdad, it's an M. M. M, correct. Cream and potato. M. Uh -huh. M. And thank you very much, Suleiman. Now, period and I don't like oil and fat, says. Again, period, my brother likes. Ah, that is good. Look, likes. 
Butter, Jagger, etcétera, etcétera. Xiomara Guerra. Nice. Let, let me see. Es nuestra Xiomara, ¿verdad? Ok, yes. Es que hay varios nombres parecidos. Así. <laughs> Sorry, Xiomara. Ok, let me see. I like milk and cheese, but I don't like butter. Ah, period, Xiomara. Look. Period. My mother likes. This is correct. My mother likes broccoli and carrots. Congratulations to your mother, Xiomara. She's very healthy because broccoli and carrots, excellent, right? Yes, it. Okay, good. So that's it. Those are your commentaries for the video, right? Those are your commentaries. And now let's go to the second video, right? Uh, Non-count nouns, how about some sandwiches? Okay. So listen and watch the video, please. Hi, everyone. In this class, you'll learn what count and non-count nouns are. Additionally, you'll learn how to use the expressions some and any. Let's get started by listening to a conversation titled, How About Some Sandwiches, which illustrates how this topic is used in a real-life setting. Let's listen and practice. What do you want for the picnic? Hmm. How about some sandwiches? Okay. We have some chicken in the refrigerator, but we don't have any bread. And we don't have any cheese. Do we have any drinks? No, we need some. All right. Let's get some lemonade. And let's buy some potato salad. Sure. Everyone likes potato salad. The first thing that I would like to explain okay. is this we concept of... The conversation. We need some. All right. Let's practice a last pronunciation. Repeat after me, please. Repeat after me. What do you want for the picnic? Mm. How about some sandwiches? Okay. We have some chicken in the refrigerator. 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 We have some chicken in the refrigerator. But we don't have any bread. And we don't have any cheese. We don't have any cheese and we don't have any cheese do we have any drinks no we need some m m m some all right let's get some lemonade lemonade Let's get some lemonade. And let's buy some potato salad. Let's buy some potato salad. Sure. Everyone likes potato salad. Okay, now uh, I need two volunteers to practice. Let me see. My two volunteers are going to be uh, Gabriela Hernandez and Gloria Escalante, right? Gabriela, you are Adam. And Gloria, you are Amanda, right? Come on. Yes. Let's do it. What do you want for the picnic? Mm, how about some sandwiches? We have some chicken in the refrigerator, but we don't have any bread. And we don't have any cheese. We have, do we have any drinks? No, we need some. And let's buy some pota potato salad. Ok, thank you very much. Gabriela, por ahí eh, le está fallando un poquito el micrófono, ¿verdad, Gabriela? Ok. Sí, así se alcanza a escuchar al fondo. Ok, but don't worry. You did very well. Thank you. Nice. Okay, now let's continue. Talking about the grammar, right? 
And let's go to this part that is very difficult to understand the use of some and any. Come on. Salad. Listen. The first thing that I would like to explain is this concept of count and non-count nouns. A noun is a person, a place, or a thing. So basically, anything that can be seen around you is a noun. Uh, in English, we have two types of nouns. We have count nouns and non-count nouns. Count nouns are those things that you can count. As you can see on the chart, an egg, eggs, a sandwich, sandwiches. We can count eggs and sandwiches. Non-count nouns are those things that you can't count because it's impossible to count. For example, liquids such as water, lemonade, milk, etc. On the chart you can see a couple of examples. Bread, lemonade. Let's take a look at all the examples on this chart. Some and any. Count and non-count nouns. Do we need any eggs? Yes, let's get some eggs. No, we don't need any eggs. Do we need any bread? Yes, let's get some bread. No, we don't need any bread. Count nouns. An egg. Eggs. A sandwich. Sandwiches. Non-count nouns. Bread. Lemonade. Specific. I'm eating an egg. Let's get some bread. General. Eggs are good for you. Bread is good for you. The okay, now let's let's work with some example, right? Let me see. Um, Sara, please. I need you give me two examples of count nouns. Things that we can count, right? Sarita? Right. Two examples. Yes. Two examples of count nouns. Example. Please. Um, apple. 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 That's Apples. Okay. What else? Other example? More? More? Um, um, lemon. Lemon. Um, lemon. Lemon. Okay. Lemon. Apples lemon. and lemon. Notice that the apples and the lemons are countable. So you can say one lemon, two lemons, three lemons, uh, one apple, 100 apples. You can count, right? Other thing uh, is that uh, you can divide them. So you can say two apples here, two apples there, right? They are separable. You can separate them. Hmm? Count and separate, right? Those are the characteristics. Right. Two more examples. Let me see. Uh, uh, Xiomara, please. Xiomara, give me two examples, two more examples of countable nouns, please. Um. In the book, we have egg sandwiches, and Sarita says apples and lemon, right? Now, what else? More examples. Come on. Uh, pineapple. Pineapple. Mm -hmm. In uh, tomato. Tomatoes, perfect. Thank you very much. Now, Maritza, please. Maritza, Maritza Claribel, right? Cañas. Hello. Hello. Yes. Welcome, Maritza. So, tell me now examples of non count now. Um, we have in soda, the bread, and lemon. Soda, correct. Yes. Um, milk. milk, milk, correct. That's nice. Now, thank you, Maritza. Now, um, okay. uh, more. Oh, come come on. Oh. Yes. Uh, Sorry, eggs. Maritza, eggs. No, right? No, oh, milk and, no. And, 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 and soda, right? Okay, that's it. That's it. Milk and soda. So, yes. Listen to me, uh, you cannot separate, right? You cannot separate the, 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 the 
the lemonade, the milk, they are no separable, right? And uh, they are not countable. I mean, you cannot say one meal, two meals, three meals. No, no, you cannot say that, right? You can say uh, a glass of milk. That's okay. A glass of milk, right? Or a box of milk, you know, caja de, de un cartón de leche, right? That's okay. But the liquid, the mass, cannot be counted, right? Other examples are the meat, you know, la carne, right? Things like the land, the water, the sand, la arena, el agua, okay? Those are things that you cannot count. They're mass, right? Algo que representa masa. So those are non count now, right? Okay. With this information, let's continue uh, now with the use of some and any. When do you use some? When do you use any? The next important thing to understand is the usage of some and any. Some and any are used to express quantity. I would like to analyze the questions first. Our first question, do we need any eggs? When forming questions, we may use any or some. For example, we could also say, do we need some eggs? Our next question, do we need any bread? We could also say, do we need some bread? However, when responding to these type of questions, we can only use some when responding positively. In our example, we can see how the question, do we need any eggs, is answered by saying, yes, let's get some eggs. And the question, do we need any bread, is answered positively by saying, yes, let's get some bread. Finally, we can only use any when responding negatively. So as we can see on both of the questions display, no, we don't need any eggs. Now it's your turn to practice by making some examples of your own. I would like for you to look into your fridge. For example, we could also say, Microphone on, teacher. Turn on the microphone, teacher. Yes. Teacher. Yes, yes, yes. I'm sorry. Microphone, <laughs> microphone I'm on. I'm sorry. Now it's okay. my fault. It's not in the, the internet. It's my fault. <laughs> okay, let's continue, right? <laughs> there is Carlos helping me, right? Again, thank you, Carlos. <laughs> okay, now let's continue. So, some right, is used for affirmative statement, affirmative sentences, right? Some. And any is used for negative. Some for affirmative, any for, ne sorry, some for affirmative, any for negative. Then when you make questions, you can use both. You can say any or you can say some, okay? Again, repetition, some affirmative, any negative, some and any, the two, for question, right? Okay, let's continue. Then we can use some and any for all non-countable nouns. For all, lemonade, milk, atolchuco, everything, right? Everything, some and any. Example, I like to drink some, some coffee. I like to, to drink some uh, water, right? And I don't like to drink any, any chaparro, right? <laughs> any vodka, <laughs> okay? So some and any for non-count, right? Now we can use some and any for countable nouns but only plural, only plural. Example, I can say, let's buy, let's buy some tomatoes. 
But you cannot say, let's buy some tomato. Only one. No, no, no. No. Or you can say, I don't need any, any peppers, right? For example. But you cannot say, I don't need any pepper in singular. No. Plural, right? Okay. Last time, review. Some for affirmative, any for negative, some and any for questions, some and any for all non countable, and some and any for plural countable. Okay? This is the information. Now, let's go to the, to the example, right? Let's go to the examples. Let me see. Uh, Roberto Quijano, nice. I don't want to buy any sandwiches in plural. Look, I will maximize this. Vamos a hacer más grande. Okay, maximize. It says, just give me a second. I need some oranges and, oh, sorry. I don't want to buy any sandwiches. Uh-huh, negative, any. Plural countable, right? I want to buy some eggs. Again, af affirmative, plural, some, right? Correct. Perfect. Okay, uh, here we have more examples. I need some orange. Mm, some orange. Flor, what is the problem here, Flor? Some orange. Orange is singular, right? Is that yes. correct, Flor? Flor, no, what do you think? It's no, right? It's oranges. Oranges, oranges, correct, oranges. And grapes, that's okay, right? I don't need any or again, right? Oranges, plural, right? Okay. I need some eggs. Pl uh, I mean, plural, affirmative. I don't need any eggs. I need some juice. Mm, correct, right? Some is used for all non-countable. I don't need any juice. That's it. Gloria Escalante, nice. Do we need any fruits? Uh -huh. uh, Gloria, can we say, do, do you need, sorry, do you need it? Do you need some fruits? Can you say that, Gloria? Yes or no? Yes. Yes, correct. So you can say, do you need any fruits or do you need some fruits? Some fruits. That's correct. The two are correct, right? The two are correct. Yes. yes, I need any fruits. That's correct, right? Solo que aquí se le fue una coma. Okay? Nice. Uh, Flor again. Nice. I like when Flor participates a lot in the discussion. I like it. Congratulations, Flor. I need some potato chips, cream, milk, chicken. <laughs> My goodness. You have a, lo a lot of things to go to buy to the supermarket, Flor. And I don't need any butter, cheese, nuts, etc., etc., right? Okay, nice. Let's continue. I need some bananas. I don't need any apple juice. Pidio, I need some cucumbers. Okay. Uh, some people say cats don't like cucumber, right? A los gatitos les asustan los pepinos, ¿verdad? Okay. The cucumbers. Cucumber, right? Uh-huh, let me see. Xiomara Guerra, nice. I need some grapes and apples. Mm -hmm. That's correct. I don't need, mm, well, this is correct. I don't need milk or cheese. That's correct. But for the exercise, we, we need to say we don't need any milk or cheese, right, Xiomara? Okay, teacher. Yes. Thank you. It's correct, Xiomara. It's correct. I mean, puede decirlo de ambas formas, sin any o con any, but for the exercise, any, right? I need some cookies and ice cream. Ah, that's nice. Uh, aquí podemos usar cookies, some, right? Contable. And for no contable, because ice cream is no contable, right? Okay, let me see si encontramos alguien del grupo. Brian Pinto. ¿Ya vino Brian? Is Brian today? No, todavía no se ha presentado. Yes, sir. Ah, yeah. Okay, welcome, Brian. Okay, let me see your, your sentence. I Thank need you. some apples. <laughs> Correct. I don't need any nuts. Well, Brian, nuts are necessary, right? <laughs> okay, but yes, the sentence is perfect. 
I need some potatoes. I don't need any carrots. Perfect, right? Jose Lobo again. I need some egg. Mm -hmm. There is something mi missing here, right? Maria? Maria, can you help me? What is missing? ¿Qué es lo que le falta aquí a la palabra egg? Maria? Debe ser, yes. sing Debe ser yes. singular o... Yes, I need some eggs. Correct. I Thank need you. Some... Yes, yes, question, Jose. Thank you, teacher. No. no, 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 that's okay, Jose. Sorry for making the correction, right? It's okay, Jose. thank you. Don't worry, don't worry, right? Eh, la idea de ir corrigiendo juntos es no, no criticar, ¿verdad? Sino solo ver juntos cuál es la, la mejor opción, ¿ok? I know, I know. Ok, okay thank, thank you. you, continue. I don't need any, any beans, that's nice. I need some drinks. Excellent, ok. Nice, Jose, thank you. And... You're welcome. Now, the last one, right? I need any milk. Mm -hmm. There is a little mistake here. Let me see. Uh, uh, Christian Perez. Christian, me había, me, me había faltado algunas clases, ¿verdad, Christian? Christian? Hello? Christian? Uh, por ahí lo vi a Cristian. No sé si yo me he equivocado en el nombre o es Christopher Pérez. No. Ok, ya vamos a ver después. So, uh, let me see. Uh, Maritza, you help me, Maritza. Is correct to say I need any milk? Maritza, yes or no? Um, any yes. Porque es no, no conta, no, no se puede no conta. contar. Okay, I understand, but any is for affirmative, Maritza, yes or no? Because this is no. affirmative. I need any meal, affirmative, right? Uh, yes or no? No. No, right. no. Any is for negative. Any is negative. Yeah, thank you very much. Thank you, Iris. So, Maritza, in this case, I need some, right? And this is the opposite. Maritza, I don't need any or I don't need a, some milk. Sería, I don't any. Okay, excellent. I don't need. Nos falta también el verbo aquí, ¿verdad? We need any bread. Again, right? Some bread. Aquí como que el compañero, no sé si es del grupo, pero lo hizo al revés, ¿verdad? El need me lo puso aquí, el some acá. Okay. That's it, right? Now, any question? No. No questions, class? Is it clear? Estamos claros cuando se usa el SOM y cuando se usa el ENI? Yes, yes. Por ahí tengo una pregunta. Let me see. Come on. I have a question. Y en el Sorry. ejemplo que estábamos viendo de Do you need any? Uh -huh. Any. No, era, no tendríamos que hacer la... La pregunta la negativa, don't you need any? Uh, no, 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 because uh, there are two types of questions in this case. Uh, Cody, Cody, right? Uh, yes. The question is that uh, when you need to, to know something, cuando necesito usted saber algo, you make two kind of, of questions, ¿verdad? Vamos a hacer dos tipos de preguntas. Yes, no question, and information question. Si quiere que la persona solo le diga, que sí o que no, yes, no question, right? For example, are you Cody? Uh, yes, I am. Uh, are you Jennifer Lopez? No, I am not, right? Or yes or no. O si quiere que la persona le, le dé una información específica, dónde, cuándo, por qué, eh, de quién, etcétera, etcétera. So you say information questions. So say, where do you live? I live in Metapan. Uh, what do you do? I am a teacher. Hmm? And you answer some specific question. Now, with negative questions, es otro tipo de preguntas, right? Eh, solo sirven para confirmar algo que yo ya sé que es verdad, pero que quiero asegurarme que la otra persona, <coughs> I'm sorry, me dé 100% seguridad, right? For example, when I say, eh, don't you like apples? que no te gusta la manzana, ¿ok? 
I know, right? Ya me contaron que, que a la persona no le gustan las manzanas. Ok, pero yo quiero confirmarlo y le hago en negativo. ¿Yes? O si quiero que la persona se identifique conmigo, right? For example, I like Alianza Football Club. And I say, don't you like Alianza? Hey, que no te guste la Alianza, right? So I need uh, the person identifies with me, right? Si identifique con mi idea o me confirme algo que yo ya sé que es cierto. Para eso sirven las preguntas negativas. Entonces, normalmente, Cori, no hacemos preguntas negativas cuando uh, ofrecemos algo. O cuando le preguntamos a alguien si necesita algo del refrigerador. ¿verdad? Normalmente no se hacen ese tipo de preguntas. En, en sí, yo porque estaba usando el any. Ajá, pero o sea, se, se usan ambos. Some? Uh -huh. Ori, en este caso se usan ambos. Uh -huh. Puede usar, do you need some apples? O do you need, oh, do any, you need any? Ok. Oh, yeah, no, count no countable. Do you need any milk? O do you need some milk? Puede usarlo perfectamente okay. el some y el any en pregunta, ¿verdad? Pero okay, teacher. Que normalmente, no, no digo que no se pueda, sí se puede, Cori, sí se puede. Okay. Pero normalmente cuando usted pregunta siempre lo hacen positivo. Do you, do you. Eh, no usa el don't. Como ya le expliqué, el don't, don't you like. Las preguntas negativas son solo para confirmar algo que yo ya sé que es cierto o para des, eh, hacer que la otra persona piense igual que mí. ¿Ok? Ok. Good. Now, any other question, class? ¿Otra pregunta? Que ya nos llevamos media hora en el repaso, pero me interesa porque este tema está complicadito. Ok, now, let's go to the knowledge check, right? Now, let's do it together. Esto es lo que tenemos que hacer ahora. Let me see. Complete the conversation with someone any, right? E example. The store doesn't have, because it's negative, any potatoes. Correct. Okay, now let's go to the, to the options. Let me see. The options are any or some, you know, right? Well, we have lots of potatoes. Let's make, okay. He's talking about potatoes. Cosas contables, that's okay, in plural. And the sentence is affirmative. No me digan la respuesta, es una pregunta retórica, pero ya saben qué es lo que va aquí si la, la pregunta es afirmativa, ¿verdad? Ok, continue. Mayonnaise. Ok, uh, aquí eh, nos han puesto ambas opciones. Pero como en el, uh, en el ejercicio solo dice que la, aparece un ejemplo con any en la pregunta, pues esa es la mejor opción. Aunque gramaticalmente se puede con las dos. Aquí si le, no es que les esté dando la respuesta, pero, pero para que no se me confundan, ¿verdad? Eh, aquí la opción más viable sería la any. ¿Ok? Let's continue. No, we need to buy, otra vez es afirmativo. Continue. We need, again, affirmative. I don't want. Aquí está una negativa. Eh? I don't want. Ya saben cuál de las dos se usa el negativo, ¿verdad? And let's get some, uh, some or any celery. Ah, it's affirmative, right? How do you say celery in Spanish? Celery in Spanish? Cereza. No, no. Cereza. No, no. 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 Cereza es cereza. It's um, apple. Eh, berry. berry, right? And celery berry. is apple. Apple, apple right? Apple. Yes, thank you. Berry. Continue. I don't want negative again, right? Let's put affirmative, right? Okay. Uh, did all of you finish? Todos me terminaron el ejercicio. Del knowledge. Yes, yes. 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 Okay. yes, 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 Hay alguno que todavía tenga algún problema para entender una de estas oraciones? No, no, no. sure. Se, se no, sure. Si les hago un quiz oral ahorita a todos, me lo responderían. Yes, yes, okay. yes, teacher. yes. <coughs> sure. <laughs> Sure. Ok. Responder, responder. <risa> responder, sí. Que esté bueno. Que, que esté bueno. No, no, es easy, easy camano. Ahora ya está un poquito más fácil, ¿verdad? Identificar cuáles son los contables, no contables, some, any, etcétera, etcétera, right? Y si quieren, pues, hoy vamos a ver un vocabulario y re, repasamos eso de, 
the SOM y el N, ahí mismo, ¿ok? Now, let's go to the class of today. Let's go to the class of today and we're going to go to the PowerPoint presentation. Let me see. Okay. Um, just give me a second. Here. The PowerPoint presentation. Okay. August 18th, right today. I am opening the the PowerPoint presentation. Okay, it's ready. Now I will share my, my screen. Vamos a compartir nuestra pantalla now. Okay. Okay. Can you see the screen? Yes. yes. Okay, good. Yeah. So, uh, today we're going to learn what do you have for breakfast? Uh -huh. There are three meals during the day, right? Breakfast, lunch, and dinner. So, breakfast is in the morning, right? And we have a conversation here, right? Fish for breakfast. Okay, like you say in El Salvador, right? Sopa de patas for para el desayuno. Mm -hmm. It's a strain, right? So, let me see. And now, uh, let's go to the objective of today, right? Uh, Cristian Pérez, uh, ¿me puede escuchar, Cristian? Cristian? Sí, teacher. Yes, okay. Sí. Uh, Cristian, yes. su nombre es Cristian Pérez, no Christopher, ¿verdad? No, Cristian. Ok, thank you. Es que tengo dos Christopher, Christopher Caña y Christopher Sánchez. Por eso uh -huh. me confundo con los tres nombres. So, sorry. <laughs> Tranquilo, teacher. Sí, sí, ok. Well, no Now, Christian, can you read the, 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 the objective, please, for the class? ¿Podría leernos el objetivo para todos, por favor? Please. Yes, teacher. By the end of this class, you will learn about come, breakfast, food, and different countries. Additionally, you will practice a conversation which illustrates some cultural difference in food. Thank you very much. So in other, in other words, we're going to learn about different countries and the breakfast in different countries, right? And a conversation to see the differences in culture, right? Cultural situation. Like last time we were learning that in San Miguel, they use ketchup, right? Uh, or in Santa Ana, right? Uh, they say uh, topollillo. A la charamusca les dicen topollillos, right? And in San Salvador, charamusca, right? Mm -hmm. uh -huh. in, in San Salvador, we use sauce. Usamos salsa para los pupusas. In San Miguel, they use ketchup, right? So it's different. The food is, is different, right? Or oh, the chuco in San Miguel is, is uh, sweet, right? It's dulce. In San Salvador, it's salado, right? So different, uh, uh, only in, in El Salvador, imagine in country by country. So today we're going to learn that, right? And let's start talking about, ladies and gentlemen, United States. Ta -da! Okay, what do, do they have for breakfast? They have eggs, bacon, toast with butter, orange juice, coffee and jam or jelly that is the same right okay now let's review countable no countable right i will ask and you tell me countable no countable right uh, beatriz caldames Conta, uh, eggs co countable or no countable eggs countable yes uh, cory monterrosa bacon Contable not, or not contable? Not contable. No contable. It's uh, jamón, right? But this is uh, jamón um, frito. Tocino. Right? No, no, tocino. no, no ah, tocino, oh, tocino. Tocino. Okay, tocino. what is the difference yeah. between tocino and jamón? Tocino. What is the difference? I don't know. <laughs> they don't. Uh, no, no, I don't know. Uh, jamón. Uh -huh. 
What is si the no, el bacon, bacon es, el bacon es largo. <risa> el bacon es largo y tostado, ¿verdad? Es, es el tocino. Y el jamón es... Un el... pedacito de carne con, este, como con, mm. con Por grasita. Eso. I know, I know, but en yeah. Spanish, pero en español, ¿cuál es la diferencia? Be eh, tocino y, y jamón. Tocino y jamón. Ajá, el jamón bueno. es cuadrado. Ah, ok. Y es el como tocino. rojito. Pero okay. es del mismo animal. Ajá, eso sí. <risa> a big discussion about bacon, right? Ok, let's continue. Let's continue. Delmi Carranza, Delmi, toast with butter, contable o no contable? Contable. Toast is bread, right? Las tostadas. Son tostadas. Pan. Ajá. Bye. ¿Se puede contar el pan? Bye. Contable. Pero... No. I guess in general, no, right? Pequeños, listen, sí. listen. We're going to say something. Vamos a darle un poco de razón a, a Delmi. Eh, los slices del pan, lo que, lo que es la hogaza, el, el, la masa de pan, eh, si, se, si se parten, así como el pan lido, como viene el pan lido, entonces sí, creo que se pueden contar, ¿verdad? Porque son sí, las rodajas. Sí. Ajá, toast. Uh -huh. entonces vamos a decir que sí y que no, porque butter que no. No, no contable, right? Ok, thank you, Delmi. Thank you, Delmi. Ah, no, sorry, Cory, right? No, ya me perdí. Delmi, Delmi, oh, yes. Delmi, 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 yes. Yeah, thank you, thank you. Now, Flor, orange juice. Not contable. Thank you. Gabriel Hernández, coffee. Gabriela? Coffee. No contable. no contable, yes. Gloria Escalante, jam or jelly, right? Is uh, in Spanish, no mermelada, right? Contable. Ah, contable. No contable. No, no contable. contable. No contable. That's that's okay. Good. Now, listen again and repeat, please. Eggs. Eggs. Bacon. Toast with butter. Toast with butter. Toast with butter. With, with, with butter. Hay un micrófono encendido por ahí, creo que es el de Iris, ¿verdad? Please, thank you. Now, eh, orange juice. Orange juice, orange juice, coffee, jam, jelly. Okay, now let's go to another country. Ladies and gentlemen, Japan. Ohio Gozaimas. Breakfast in Japan. Listen, please. Fish, rice, soup, pickles, green tea. Okay, now, contable, no contable. Let me see. Eh, Guadalupe, ya vino Guadalupe. Está Guadalupe Hello, no? teacher. Hello, okay. Guadalupe. Eh, fish is contable or no contable? Contable. Mm -hmm. There is a tricky thing here, right? Hay un truco aquí. Cuando el animalito anda suelto, fish, anda en el mar o en el agua, contable, right? Pero ya cuando se hace comida, entonces no contable, okay? The same happened with the chicken, with the turkey, with all the, the, the meat, right? Todo el tipo de carne. Cuando ya se hace comida, vamos a decir que es no contable, okay? But thank, thank you. you. Thank you, Guadalupe. Okay. Eh, Guadalupe eh, Escalante o, o Coronado? Coronado. Coronado, thank you very much. Para la asistencia. Thank you very much. Ok. Good. Now, eh, Iris Herrera, please. Iris, rice. No contable. Yes, María Maya. Soup. No contable. Maritza, pickles, pepinillo, right? Pickles. 
Countable. Countable, correct. And Roberto Quijano, please. Green tea. No countable. No countable, right? They say that green tea is good for uh, reduce the weight, right? Para bajar un poquito yeah. el peso. Magnífico. Mm -hmm. Okay, now, please. Repeat after me. Fish. Fish. Okay, turn off your microphone, please. Turn off your microphone, please. Okay, now. Rice. Soup. Pickles. Green tea. Okay, now let's go to the next country. Ladies and gentlemen. Ahua, Mexico, right? So, sorry, excuse me. What do they have for, for breakfast in, 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 in Mexico, right? They have eggs too, beans, tortillas, or tortillas. Some say tor tortillas, some say tortillas, right? Fresh fruits. Sweet bread, right? Pan dulce. Coffee with milk. Nice. I like it, right? Okay. Very similar to El Sabor, right? Now, please. Uh, Xiomara Guerra. Eggs. Contable or no contable? Contable? Yes. Beans. Suleima, please. Contable or no contable? Beans. Mm -hmm. Contable or no contable? No contable. Mm. Let me see. Hay una pequeña diferencia entre el arroz y los frijoles, right? Los frijolitos son un poquito más grandes. So, so, what do you think, Suleyma? Mm -hmm. Contable or no contable? Okay, sería... No contables. Mm. Contable. Contable. No, contables. Contable, yes. Se pueden contar, right? Okay, now, uh, Sara, Sarita, please. Tortillas. Contable. Contable, right? Very good. You can count, right? Do you eat tortillas or bread, Sarita? ¿Qué prefiere, tortillitas o pancito? Tortillitas. Tortillas. <laughs> yes, I agree. <laughs> Fresh fruit. Okay. Um, this is, I'm not going to ask, right? No le voy a preguntar porque aquí es doble, ¿verdad? Eh, puede ser que la fruta esté partida, entonces sería no contable. Pero si, si es una manzana o, um, no sé, una pera, right? O un mango, right? So in this case, it's contable. Okay. Now, sweet bread. Eh, Carlos Domínguez, please. Contable o no contable? Yes, teacher. Good evening. Hello. Sweet bread. Um, uh, if, if, uh, only bread, no countable, but sweet bread, countable. Uh, let me see. In this case, it's different from the slicer, right? Aquí creo que diferente con el, con la rebanada de pan, eh, bread. pan lido. Aquí creo que sí es no countable, Carlos. No countable. Porque okay, ajá, es como masa, ¿verdad? Es como masa, yes. Talking about sweet bread, what is your favorite, Carlos? What is your favorite? Uh, you Pe like semita, peperecha, uh, um, margarita. <laughs> semita. <laughs> semita, semita. Okay, I like it too. Right? I like it. Okay. Now, Christian, please. Christian, uh, coffee with milk. Contable or no contable, Christian? No contable. Uh, no contable, yes. No contable. No contable, yes. Okay, now, let's continue, please. Uh, we are going to see the, the platform now. Ahora vamos a la plataforma. Let me see. Okay, for here. Oops, sorry. Mañana van a cortar perenas y se dice en la mañana en la tarde. Mm -hmm. Por ahí escuchamos ¿Qué? un micrófono encendido, ah. ¿verdad? <risa> ah. Ok. Aquel que me vi el Byron que vino aquí a ver es. Él va a venir. Ok, let me see here, right? Digo en la mañana. Por ahí estamos escuchando la Bye. conversación. <risa> ok, ya lo tengo acá. Let me see. Now, 
here, right? Okay. And let's go to the video, right? In this class, you'll learn about common breakfast foods in different countries. Additionally, you'll practice a conversation which illustrates some cultural differences in food. Let's get started by learning what people in the U.S., Japan, and Mexico eat for breakfast. What do you have for breakfast? The U.S. Eggs. Bacon. Toast with butter. Orange juice. Coffee. Jam. Jelly. Japan. Fish. Rice. Soup. Pickles. Green tea. Mexico. Eggs. Beans. Tortillas. Fresh fruit. Sweet bread. Coffee with milk. So what do you have for breakfast? Next, what I would like for you to do is to listen to a conversation which illustrates this topic. Let's listen and practice. Fish for breakfast? Let's have breakfast together on Sunday. Okay. Come to my house. My family always has a Japanese-style breakfast on Sundays. Really? What do you have? We usually have fish, rice, and soup. Fish for breakfast? That's interesting. Sometimes we have a salad, too, and we always have green tea. Well, I never eat fish for breakfast, but I like to try new things. Now it's your turn to practice this conversation along with the vocabulary. You may watch this video as many times as necessary. El micrófono, teacher. Yes, yes, yes. Now, now, please. Now, listen. We're going to repeat, please, after the conversation, right? Let me see. And practice. Fish for bre breakfast? Let's have breakfast together on Sunday. Okay, repeat, please. Let's have breakfast together on Sunday. Give me a second here. Here, right? Okay, now. Repeat, please. Okay. Come to my house. My family always has a Japanese-style breakfast on Sundays. Really? What do you have? We usually have fish, rice, and soup. Fish for breakfast? That's interesting. Sometimes we have a salad, too. And we always have green tea. Well, I never eat fish for breakfast. But I like to try new things. Now it's your turn to practice this conversation along with the vocabulary. You may watch this video as many times as necessary. I would also like for you to answer the following question in our discussion forums. What do you have for breakfast? Okay. So that is the question, right? Uh, you are going to, excuse me. You are going to tell me in the discussion, in this video, right? You are going to tell me what do you have for breakfast? Okay? And in the discussion. And tomorrow we're going to discuss. And I have a message. Tengo un mensaje. Uh, okay. De Gabriela. Por aquí hay un. 
problema con el audio de Gabriela, así que no hay problema, Enten, copiado Gabriela, ya, ya entendimos cuál es la situación, así que tranquilita. Ok, so any extra question? ¿Alguna pregunta extra antes de terminar? Do you have any question? No. No question, teacher. No question. Ok, thank you very much. See you tomorrow. Eh, okay, se me quedan teacher. como siempre los chicos de Bye. See you. Bye. 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 bye bye. God bless you. See you tomorrow. Bye, teacher. See you tomorrow. Ok. Los chicos de Holcim, váyanse peinando ya, por favor, arreglándose. Permítame un segundito, ok. Um, por aquí tengo... Ah, no puedo, no puedo esconder el mensaje. Permítame un segundito. Bueno, así la vamos a tomar entonces. Ok, one, two, three... Ahí estamos. Thank you very much. God bless you. See you tomorrow. See you tomorrow. God bless you. Good night, teacher. Good night. 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 Good night.